Hello everyone, my name is Angry Redbeard. Today we're going to play Subnautica. Again, we're back at it with Subnautica. The Aurora exploded, so I apologize for that. I went ahead and did all the planning to get all the supplies and for us to build a few things. And we're going to build two very key things, in my opinion, on this game uh, right out the bat. So I come over here, go to that, go to tools. Nope, go to equipment. No, deployables, there we go. So we're gonna build a sea glide. I found all the blueprints for it and I went and got all the supplies that you need for it. So we're gonna build that. And today we're gonna actually go to one of the islands. Another thing uh, that we can build right off the bat here. Make another key, key thing. Uh, the sea moth. The sea moth is a sign. Safe mode of transport. Yep. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Well, I don't feel like swimming all the way to the island. Unless your little robotic self wants to do it. I'm not gonna do it. Alright, now that we're in here, we're gonna go to this island first. Because I feel like it's key. If I'm not mistaken, it's got a few things that I want to get um, for building our base, which we're going to do in this episode. That is key. We're going to build a decent little cool base um, for this episode. Oh, can you see it? Yep, there it is. That is the place we want to be. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Come on. Is this one where I whack it with that and then I can eat that right is it yeah okay so I want to take three of those I need one okay and there's so we want to get up to the peak find an easy fast route up now that's what I want. So bulkhead. That's key for the base that we want to build. It takes forever to scan though. Okay, got that. Let's go to the observatory. Spotlight. Oh, that's key. Well, it's not, not totally key, but. Indoor grow bag. That's what I wanted. Oh no, it's those bulbous. Oh, uh, not bulbous. Lantern. Okay, so we got those. And let's pick this up. Part of the story. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I've been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, Ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Can you imagine that? Being up there, like, your last moments of your life. That to me is like, it's creepy in itself. I mean, then again, you're in a peaceful place, comfortable. And that's the only thing I would ask for is to be comfortable when I do pass. I don't want to be in pain, I don't want to suffer last time that I have. Uh, okay, I remember there's stuff up here that I gotta. Have to 
Be careful of. Or is that downstairs? Come on. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. Speaking. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of this ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rate is too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maker, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Please press acquired. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mader, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mader salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without her physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive, as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Bring that really close to my face there. Oh, there we go, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Now we're gonna head back and we're gonna start building our epic cool base. Alright, let's go grab some lead. Alright, no, no, we're just gonna start doing this first. Because I wanna get this started at least. A second, we can uh, build upon it later. All right, makes the legs for me. Cool. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to and maximize I... productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. So I want to build a platform. I'll build a platform right there, like right here. Then we can expand upon it. How close are we to the aurora? Tell me I'm right next to it. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Actually, can we? Uh, let's do it right there. I know it looks weird. 
I know, I know. It looks really weird. Alright, so let's uh, do... I need quartz? Oh boy. It's been a while since I played this. It's been a while. Uh, oh, there it is. I knew it wasn't that far. Okay. We are going to stop the ship and start the ball. I mean, it is a ship, actually. We're gonna build a hatch. Bam! Now, we need to build the solar panel. We need titanium. Okay. So, two titanium I threw away is what we need. Cool. Right, let's put a solar panel smack dab in the center. And now it's gonna be powered. We can go inside and get oxygen. Hey. All right, so we want to build real quick. I want to see how much it's going to cost. Wiring kit and titanium. Uh, this isn't that bad, but I do want to make this eventually because that'll give me a lot more power. Um, but for now, all right, let's build one of these just for shenanigans, and then this. We can plant. I just ate it. Oh my god. Switch container. There we go. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Ooh, teep, teep. I need you. Any more teeth? Thank you. Where are they? Where are they? I know they're around here somewhere. There they are. I need one or two. I'm just gonna grab two. Okay, and then you'll see why here in two seconds going to build one of these right here alrighty cool so we got one of those and now we need wiring kit oh yes that's why I got the silver ore uh, wiring kit we're gonna build a awesome awesome endless energy um, yes so this will give us 500 energy a reliable power source yep. is a critical step towards self okay once I get the this these the growing of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair once I get the thing going, which I'm going to do right now, then I'll have five of the out of over. I will have five hundred energy. Okay, so let's build. Let's build that, and we're gonna. We're gonna make a name for this base. And it's gonna be a very unique base. Name. Base name. Um, it's gonna be unlike any other. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's gonna be the best base sign ever. Okay, and greatest name for the base, okay? Three, two, one.
Base one. Yes. Base one. Yes. That's the best I could think of. Uh, if you come up with a better name for the base, uh, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, give it a name. You can call it the Beardsville, Beard, Beard, Beardsville, or anything you want. Uh, I really, it's up to you. Be creative, because I'm not. Uh, so for now, it's going to be base one. If you come up with a good name, we'll name it that. Um, so, gutter scanner room. Okay, that's uh, that's key. Let's actually put that away. So we got our scanner room. Okay. Got our bio reactor, which we're gonna actually put in another multi-purpose room over there. Already got our fuel source for this. We got this. This is all gonna be storage. Um, let's see. We have our sea moth. And in next episode, I want to take the sea moth out and venture and try to find the cyclops parts because that to me is like once you get the cyclops it's all over from there because I well, was not over but I mean you got the whole story to do but it's pretty much for progress from there um, but I think that's quite a bit of stuff that we did in this episode um, I know I can do more but uh, I definitely want to keep things short you know because yeah I want to keep things short um, but if you like this video please hit that like button um, and you know it, it lets me know if you guys are really enjoying the content uh, and as much as I hate asking uh, if you guys could do me a solid and subscribe, it really helps support me. And also, comment down below uh, names for the base uh, that's over there. Uh, and a few other things I want to incorporate you guys. So please give me tips on really cool things that you did in Subnautica. Or if you never played it, ask me questions. And I will do my best to answer it. But that being said, I love you all. And I will see you in the next episode of Subnautica. If you enjoyed that video, click right here for YouTube's recommended, and right here for my most recent video, and right here to subscribe. It helps support me, and make sure you turn on the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload. I think that's how that works. Should be how that works. Cool. Alright. Bye for now.